Jake Baller here, and today, as you can see, um, I'm back with another ASMR video. Video, 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 video. And yes, as you can see, I'm back with the, this filming setup. Sorry about the creaky chair, by the way. Uh, and we're doing another uh, Netflix movie streaming service app. show you guys what's going on in the movie streaming world and kind of what the i don't know what's being what's being offered what's new what is new here and uh of course netflix is the most important one so we're probably taking a little bit extra time on this but we also have to do disney plus hulu maybe we'll go maybe another time and do like a youtube one some other ones i know there's like peacock and apple tv i'll have to wait and see but we're gonna see what's going on on netflix first but yeah if you guys like these sort of movie look over movie videos, review videos, and I don't know what do you what categorize this video as. <laughs> There's also a little bit of tracing as well. Um, let me know by giving this video a like if you want me to continue on this series. I'm probably only going to do this again like once a month or so because nothing really new comes out until like the start of every month. If you want me to continue, make sure you give this video some love and give it a like. I would really appreciate it. Comment down below. Maybe some movies you guys recommend and yeah, make sure you subscribe as well. So, Alrighty, alrighty, here we are on uh, Netflix, of course, Netflix, with the uh, big sort of thing they're promoting is uh, this movie called The Perfect Couple. I'm sorry, it's a series, it's a TV series, I don't know what it is, <laughs> starring Nicole Kidman, interesting, little uh, suspect murder mystery, I'm assuming, something like that. Makes it says some random Netflix original. <laughs> Pretty funny. Alright, let's see. Hopefully they have some um, new stuff on here for us to take a look at. The very TV favorites, I'm assuming these are all going to usually be the same. Dexter, Breaking Bad, Present Break, you know, just the usual fan favorite stuff, which I've actually have never seen. I swear I could and never get 
how they changed him from something a little bit ugly, 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 to something a little bit not ugly, which is definitely really good. Um, so maybe I'll give it a shot. I do know there is like a, a second movie. There's a, a Knuckles movie as well. Interesting. We have Mr. Deeds, which is honestly a very forgotten about Adam Sandler movie. It's just about when Adam Sandler gets rich randomly, but instead of playing like I don't know. Um, how do I say this in that way? A, a mean guy. I was gonna say, uh, use a different word for that. Besides being a butthole, we'll say that. Uh, like most of the movies he plays, uh, he plays actually like a super sweet guy, which is like a very different character than what Adam Sandler usually plays. Back to the Future comes to Boone, who leaving soon actually is the Super Mario Brothers movie. Wow. Yeah, I was actually very surprised how fast this actually came on Netflix and how they're getting rid of it, which kind of makes sense. It still is so crazy. This movie is barely an hour and 30 minutes long. Like, it's so sad that a movie that's this good, this high has this much sort of, like, lore and, and storyline that you could have for a Super Mario Brothers movie. It's like, like, I mean, if you're taking, if you're taking in, like, the credits and then, like, the, the start of the movie, I mean, this movie's like, a, like, an hour long, basically, like, an hour 15 minutes, maybe, that's, I felt this movie was super rushed, it was, it was pretty disappointing, at least to my eyes, but it was good, I suppose. Um, uh, any other ones kind of doing anything new? A lot of, uh, there's a lot of leaving soon, leaving soon, leaving soon. Wow, they're getting rid of Monster House right before the holiday season is insane. This movie came out in 2006. I mean, I'm sure for a lot of you guys, this movie you maybe were, you, you grew up with watching. Um, I remember going to the movie theater and watching this um, as a kid growing up back in 2006. But it doesn't really seem they added anything new. Oh no, they're getting rid of Flushed Away. No way, they're getting rid of Flushed Away. I love this movie. Maybe one of my favorite DreamWorks movies. It's up there like Madagascar and things like that. Super, super funny Lego movie. They get rid of as well. Oh man, this is really sad. Anyways, let's see. Um, um, reality TV. Anything doing on there? No, it's still kind of the same stuff. We have a new season of Selly. I like 
like it a lot. I'm not like one of those guys who's like, oh, American Psycho is my favorite. Bateman is the best character in movie history. Like, some people will go a little too extreme with their movie takes on American Psycho, but I like it. It's cool. I don't obsess over it, though. Um, Squid Game. So there's my, the, oh, The Room was actually a really good movie as well. That was a very intense movie about a kidnapping. Very crazy. Hustle, of course. Hustle is amazing. Uh, I think still to this day, my, my favorite sports movie of all time. I, just, I, I love the ins and out of basketball, obviously. I think this movie does a really good job of sort of taking you into how, obviously not realistic, because it's a movie, but I just love seeing the backstage of the NBA and the scouting and development, and, you know, you got to see a lot of uh, players in, in, in the movie as well, and it, just, it felt like a little bit more like a real sports movie to me, besides like Space Jam or something like that, you know what I mean? Uh, Wild Wild Country is still to this day, I think maybe my favorite docu-series of all time. Uh, of course, it's, I'm kind of biased because it is a docu-series based off of like a relatively close by event that happened in Oregon, which is insane. I beg if you've never seen Wild Wild Country and you like, you know, cult stuff, it's really, really, really interesting what happens in that. And I didn't even know about it until I watched it. It's like, wait, what the heck? There's a, like, a, a humongous cult city that used to be in Oregon. It's Side the king, the king was really good with the uh, oh, what's his name, Timothy Chalamet. He was really good in that. Breakfast Club. Oh, here we go, coming soon. Uh, we have Garfield, which is cool. I know this movie just came out not that long ago. It's coming uh, well, when I'm watching this video this weekend. I have seen this as well. It's actually going to be an entire movie. I thought it was going to be a series on Netflix, but they're just coming out with an entire movie of it. It's like a cross country trip about Will Ferrell. And his friend Harper. Oh, wow, they have a Mr. McMahon Netflix sh series. This is, uh-oh. <laughs> if you don't know, Mr. McMahon is the, well, used to be like the runner of WWE. Kind of got kicked out of the business because of uh, some really controversial stuff that went on, which, I mean, his entire existence is controversial. I mean, this guy is out of his mind, screw loose, and I guess he even got even more crazier by the end of it all, which is wild to think about. And then they're doing a Ellen DeGeneres docu documentary. Oh, God. <sighs> Sorry, Ellen. No offense, but nobody cares. <laughs> Kicked out of the business. Well, from the stuff that I saw and heard, you definitely, definitely should have. Anyways, um, Rom-coms, Tall Girl, Reality TV, Comedies, Your Next Watch, Action. They have the top movies today, which are always just... I, 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 I swear these Netflix movies and originals never are that great, but somehow they're always number one and two and stuff. <laughs> Unless they really are that good, then you guys can let me know. Um, we have a, you know, Murder Mystery, Unsolved Mystery, Edge of Tomorrow, which is actually pretty solid. Dom Cruise movie. I remember seeing this also in the movie theater with my dad. That was a while ago. Ooh, number nine is Shark Tale. Will Smith, Jack Black, uh, Robert De Niro. This movie is stacked with great voice acting. Came all the way up to 2004. Okay, let's move on to the next. Uh, the next, the next, the next, uh, I guess, app. Alrighty, here we are on... Uh, Sounds very weird. Um, their big old poster thing is the new Aaron Hernandez story, which if you don't know who Aaron Hernandez is, I don't want to spoil the show, I guess, but it's about a sports athlete who definitely has a pretty troubled time with uh, some decision making that he does. And, uh, it gets a little interesting. Of course, it's a true story, and uh, I guess if it's like football or, I guess, mystery. I don't want to say what kind of mystery. Wink, wink, wink. But definitely something happens, which is pretty wild. Um, welcome to Hulu. The stuff they're actually going to be promoting is all their other original stuff. They have Family Guy on here, which I sometimes always forget about. Um, I haven't really, like, actually, like, sat down and watched a Family Guy 
guy show in like years, but I still see it all the time on like TikTok. TikTok helps YouTube videos, shorts, and stuff. I still see very funny clips of it on Twitter and X and whatnot, so yeah. We have The Bachelorette, which as you guys know, yes, I do like The Bachelor. Sue me. <laughs> like, I think that stuff is super entertaining. You know, also like, well, I'm not going to say that on here, but uh, you know, it's not, it's not too hard to watch when there's a, uh... anyways, never mind, uh, Bob's Burgers, I've actually never seen an episode of Bob's Burgers before, we have the Bear, Futurama, and just some of the stuff that is pretty obviously sort of pushed on here, um, we have movies for me, what kind of movies do you guys want me to watch, Bad Boys for Life, oh yeah, they have the, uh, some of the Planet of the Apes movies, they have the original one, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, back in 2011, 2017 with War, and then I think they also have the uh, the newest one as well. They have the Dragon Ball Z movie with Broly, which I actually wouldn't mind giving that a watch. And as you can see, I've been using this app already with uh, watching some Step Brothers. All right, let's see. We got newly added TV presented by Chili's. Whoa, presented by Chili's. Welcome to Chili's. Um, Practical Jokers, Jersey Shore, Gumball. Didn't like the voice actor of Gumball, like the actual Gumball character, didn't he come out to be like some sort of like weirdo and was like kind of goo 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 in the head? I remember seeing like a clip of that on TikTok or X, Twitter, whatever you want to call that. Dang, did The Bachelor. Yeah, see, I, 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 I'm, I, I, I do like The Bachelor anyways. Uh, Catfish, still one of my favorite sort of like throw on shows. Man, some of the stuff that goes on in that show is out of this world. Some people in this world just are literally insane. Um, speaking of WWE stuff, we have the biography of WWE legends. I'm actually seeing this on like TV, like TV TV, and it's actually a pretty good docu, like mini docu series. They'll take like an hour and just sort of spotlight like a single WWE superstar. Like, um, let's see, whoops, they have uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Roddy Piper, Booker T. K, Bret Hart, pretty cool. They only have one season though, but I think there might be more like that, that's like actually actively showing on TV because I've seen, um, there's a Rob Van Dam one which I watched and that was actually super duper interesting. Yes, I do like it. Uh, I do like WWE. Um, well, I used to, but not anymore, but I still think it's interesting. Ooh, we have Holes. Now that is a movie I can get behind. Um, for action fans, that is not an action movie. The only thing that happens as an action part of this movie is that, that this kid right here smacks a dude with a shovel, which is pretty action-packed, I guess, for a kid's movie. But this still to this day is, um, like, one of my more favorite nostalgic movies. Like, whenever I think of, like, some of the movies I really liked growing up as a kid, like, this movie is kind of like... It was, like, one of my first ever experiences of, like, really enjoying a movie because of, like, the story and the dialogue and, like, this, like what's actually happening. Obviously, in the year 2003, you know, we're watching Spongebob and watching Fred videos on YouTube, you know what I mean? So, this is, like, one of my first experiences of actually enjoying content for, like, because it's good, you know? <laughs> um, we have Garfield. This is, the, this is my Garfield. This is Mike Garfield, the uh, the Bill Murray Garfield. I think he does a great job in voice acting this this role, to be honest. Um, obviously, I didn't like the second movie. It's just a random movie, but the first one is good. I don't want to say really good, but I did like the first one a lot. Uh, Robots is great, too. Dr. Doolittle, oh, Freaky Friday. They're actually making a second movie of Freaky Friday. And by second movie, I mean, like, it's literally going to be Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan in a number two, which is kind of interesting. Also, fun fact, like, my first ever, like, crush, like, celebrity crush I ever had ever was this exact movie. No, actually, yeah, this exact movie of Lindsay Lohan. I guess if you wanted to know that. <laughs> Pacifier at the museum, Prince Diary. And they actually have a pretty good selection of movies on here. But I think the reason why they have like a lot of Disney movies basically is because Hulu is owned by Disney. So Disney can kind of just throw some Disney movies on here. But then 
also had movies like Step Brothers and Super Bad, which is crazy that we're seeing a streaming service have, you know, I know you can watch Horrible Bosses, which is about a movie about people who want to kill their bosses, and then also, on the side, you can watch High School Musical. It's kind of crazy. Uh, oh, they actually do have the original Garfield movie, which is super fantastic. I think that might be a movie I'm going to throw on at some point <laughs> recently. Um, this is Doubtfire. really good. Date Night. Neighbors 2. What do they have the first Neighbors, though? I don't know. Casino. Now, this is actually a pretty underrated movie with Robert De Niro. Um, if you feel kind of like, if you like the Vegas sort of lifestyle. It came out in the year 1995, which for some of you might be absolutely ancient, which I guess for now, for nowadays stuff is pretty ancient, but uh, that's, a, that's a good Robert De Niro movie. They do have the first Neighbors movie. This is also a movie that really brought me on to Zac Efron and sort of like his comedic sort of roles in movies. I think he's actually super duper funny in this movie. Zac Efron he does a really good job. Oh no. Oh no, not Marley and me. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough watch, <laughs> even till this day. Um, uh, Dr. Doolittle, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have never even seen before. Dr. Doolittle. Doolittle, just about a movie about a doctor, a veterinarian, that all of a sudden can just talk to animals, which obviously makes his job, uh, pretty easy. You could podcast. Um, Shallow Hal, Fool of Gold, Bob Burger. Us, Us is on here. I don't know if we've talked about that before, but this is, they never really update Hulu that much, uh, because Hulu is just such, like, a TV show-based thing. All Hulu really does is just update their category of shows, or they add, like, new seasons of shows that they already have. They really ever actually, like, add on, like, big movies. Like, they have Jumanji, I guess. Um, oh, you mean Rhapsody. They have all like the Alien and Predator movies because of the newest Alien. Anyways, uh, let's move on to maybe the last thing. Maybe just some Disney Plus to see if they have anything on there. But looking like it, it's all the same stuff on Hulu, which kind of disappointing. But I guess uh, I guess what else would you really expect? Alrighty, I don't know what I was really expecting from Disney Plus. Uh, as someone who follows Disney pretty closely, I know there's like nothing new on here. The biggest thing that is coming soon, though, is the Marvel series, Agatha All Along, which, if you don't know, is just the, the randomness, the, ran, the randomest, most unneeded side character story that we possibly could get. Like, Agatha, is, 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 is she going to be like a part of the MCU now? Is she going to be like, I don't know, in the next Avengers movie? Definitely not. But I do think there's going to be something in this show that will carry on into something else. Whether it's maybe adding a new villain, a new character, developing some sort of side story about maybe um, one of the Avengers. I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to be Wanda, but this show is going to be super relevant to me. I'm just going to watch it just to hope something happens that actually leads on to the MCU. Uh, and then Inside Out 2 is coming as well, which um, I actually did not see in the movie theaters. I kept putting it off and off and off, and then eventually, poof, gone for the movies. So this is coming September 25th, and the, the Marvel movie is actually coming out today. As you guys are watching this video, if you're watching it live, which is kind of cool, um, but yeah, the 25th, Inside Out 2, I will be watching this. I know there's anxiety and boredom and shyness and something else, who, whatever emotion this is, and then all the original cast as well. I'm actually super excited to watch that. Did with stars. Ooh, how to draw a series. Now, that, that is actually really interesting. Um, and in Disneyland, uh, I've been to their, like, their art academy, and they kind of teach you how to draw something. I was still really bad at it, but it was a lot of fun to just kind of just very easily, step by step, sort of figure out how to draw some of your fairy characters, and they do a really good job at explaining things, because it's literally their job. And of course, with the holiday season coming up pretty soon, we have the Nightmare Before Christmas with the homie Jack Skellington. Jack, Jack Skellington. Um, newly added. Yeah, we just that. Uh, how to draw 
Boss series, we have the Emmys, which I do that Emmys just went on recently. I think it did. I didn't watch it, but I guess I think anything interesting happened. Let me know. While they actually have the presidential debate. Wow. You can watch the debate on Disney Plus. That is so stupid. I actually, I mean, it wasn't even on a Hulu. You could watch it on Disney Plus, though. That's just. I don't think kids really need to pay too much attention about that. At least when I was a kid, I didn't really pay attention to that kind of stuff. But yeah, as you can see, the, the newly added stuff is just either, you know, kid kid animated stuff. Um, oh, Romulus, that's what it's called. Alien. Romulus, that's what it was called. Uh, Deadpool Wolverine. It's not actually out yet, but I'm assuming it will be out maybe before the end of the year on here, but really nothing new. And yes, I still have not watched The Acolyte. I watched a couple episodes and I haven't watched it since. But <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for me. Oh, wow, they have Prince of Persia. Oh, God, this is a not a good movie. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching tonight's video. Uh, again, I'll probably do these maybe like once a month just so to see if they did add anything new or good. I think Netflix had a pretty good selection. Hulu didn't really do too much. And, of course, Disney <sighs> doesn't really do much anymore. But we still love it, I guess. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Make sure you click the like button. I'd appreciate that. Click the subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. Maybe comment down below a movie, a show that you recommend to me or everyone else down in the comments. It really, uh, I guess, help out a lot of other people. And I'll see you again in another ASMR. ASMR.